Hi my Disney friends, it's Vicki from Vicki's Tigger Tales. Um, today I am going to be doing a video about the very Merry Christmas, a Disney Christmas that I had this year. Um, just to start off with a couple of things. First off, Merry Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful season and happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Um, so I had to kind of go through and do this in categories. So I had uh, everything kind of organized. I can show you things kind of all together in a grouping. So the first one is um, Disney kind of housewares. So I got this from my granddaughter. Um, she bought me two little trivets that go uh, in my kitchen. There's a Minnie and a Mickey. And if you can see it, it has all these like little hidden Mickeys in it. Um, they're so cute. And they're rubber, so super durable. And then also, this set that had a kitchen towel, the hot pad, and the Mickey oven mitt. How cute is this? <laughs> like, these, um, my family members really know me really well. Um, then I'll go through the holiday plushes. And one of them actually came in kind of, um, it was a holiday, it looked like an ornament blind bag. Um, at work, a couple of girlfriends and I who really love Disney got together and did like a secret Santa. So we all had a cap, um, to not go over. And, um, the person that I, that drew my name, one of the plushes that she got from me came in this little, like little ball and she wanted me to open it in front of her. So it's already been open, but the blind bag in, um, inside of it had, oh, my He's so cute. So, um, very cute. Uh, I really like the blind bag stuff. So any kind of time that you can get a mystery, um, anything it's, you know, it's always fun to kind of open something up and see what you got on the back. Usually there's some, you know, the characters that you can, uh, that you can pull for. Um, but that was my first little plush. And then How perfect. Vicky's Tigger Tails, my favorite character. And look at how cute he is. This face is just adorable. So I got a Tigger. And then I've always kind of had an affinity for the big cats. Um, I swear my spirit animal must be a tiger or something. And Raja! <laughs> so Tigger and Raja were my plushes that I got this year for Christmas. And they're just too cute, both of them. Um, I always thought, like, I think one of the reasons why Princess Jasmine and Aladdin movie um, was one of my favorites was because of Raja, because he's in it, and he's just really adorable. Another um, thing that I received in my um, Secret Santa was this cute little diamond and it also had a blind bag in it but it had figurines in them and this one happens to be if I can get it back open oh. <laughs> sorry about that it's Elsa so she's little she's rubberized and actually just really cute the very even the detail even how small she is she bends forward and back and then just in a really pretty purple dress. But you can see her hair still very detailed. Even for how small she is, it just really, really did a good job on the detail of her. And since we're into figures, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the Funko Pops that I did receive as well. So it was kind of a very Funko, <laughs> Funko Pop Christmas this year. Um, the first one is this, it's Aladdin's first wish and it has Genie and Aladdin with it. And I haven't taken it out of the box. I didn't know if I should really take this one out of the box or not. Um, I really like these like moments in the, uh, in the movie Funkos. Um, but I wanted to kind of get more information about this particular one just to see, um, especially since Genie's on it. Um. It's pretty special. I really love this movie. And this is such a cool, like, when the genie first comes out, it's just a really neat scene, so. And then, 
to go with it, also in my Secret Santa, I got Jasmine. And she's just so cute. I will take this one out of the box because she's so detailed. Her little outfit just has just the coolest details on it. So, and it's, she's got the um, crown on and her earrings. And they're just adorable. So here she is. And then this, I love this. The crown part and her hair. It's just beautiful. And then her head, her head swivels. And the detail on her little costume is just a, it's just beautiful. I love this. So she's just so cute. And then I got Finn. And he's fastly becoming one of my favorite characters this year. Um, I'm super all about Finn right now. And he's got his little hourglass. And just, he's just so cute. I love it. I love that his head is like kind of tilted to the side, like, hmm. <laughs> and you can't have spin without Anna. And she just looks adorable, especially in her. I love this purple outfit on her. It's really cute. And then the back, the braid and the details on her hair. And I hadn't opened Elsa, but I did also get Elsa for um, from the Frozen 2 movie. Um, have you guys seen the Frozen 2 movie yet? Uh, comment below if you have and then what you thought of it. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was great. I actually like that actually a little bit more than the first movie that came out. But here's Elsa. And again, the detail on her hair, all braided and perfectly coiffed. And then it has her little the little cape that she has on her dress on here too. It's beautiful. So those are the Funkos. Then, kind of going along with the whole figure thing as well. I came across these. Um, actually, this one was it a gift? I actually came across these myself. They're little Tsum Tsum plastic replicas of what the Tsum Tsums look like. Um, of what the Tsum Tsums look like. So here's Goofy. <laughs> He's just so cute in his outfit. His little hat on there. Love it. And Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa. Ooh. I love that scene in the movie. I was so disappointed that they didn't do that in the live action film. Um, you kind of look for some of those highlights in some in the in the films when you see them, because the classics are so iconic that when that wasn't done, I was like, "How can you leave that out?" That was just like the perfect, like that has stood the test of time. People still say that even in different like I don't know references. So and then here's Sven, again, fastly becoming one of my favorite characters this year. Just so cute. Okay, now, I love me some Mickey shaped food. And one of my friends had put this in her, her gift to me. And I thought that was just super special. Um, just, you know, some of the simple things sometimes um, make up a big, you know, if you're a Disney fan like I am, uh, I wish all my food was Disney shaped or Mickey head shaped. <laughs> Then I got two different games. One, I haven't tried to or tried to play this one yet, but I get this, I did get um, Pictopia, and it looks like it's really fun. Um, it says, discover playful trivia spanning decades of Disney magic from animated classics and blockbuster movies to television hits and dazzling theme park destinations. It's a game of teamwork with a competitive twist. Along the way, our guests might answer questions that reveal how much you know about other players. So, sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds really interesting. I'd love to get a group of Disney friends together and play this. So, um, I did get this. And then, 
villainous. Let's talk about this game. My husband and I played it for the first time last night. It is really super cool. Um, it is a little more difficult than what I thought it would be. And um, wow, you really need to pay attention on this. So um, on it, it says it's an epic contest of sinister power. Take on the role of a Disney villain and strive to achieve your own devious objective. Discover your character's unique abilities and winning strategy while dealing twist of fate to thwart your opponent's schemes. Find out who will triumph over the forces of good and win it all. Um, I won it all last night. Um, we kind of had to play and try to figure it out as we were going along, but it was fun. Um, it's a very challenging and if you're, it, you, you really have to pay attention um, because your person who is also trying to get their devious scheme to come to fruition is also working on making yours a little more difficult at the same time. Um, so it was very interesting. Um, there's Captain Hook, Maleficent, Jafar, Queen of Hearts, Prince John, and Ursula. And so my favorite villain is Maleficent. I played her last night. Her objective was a little easier than I think Jafar's was, which my husband played. And um, yeah, it, it was challenging, but very fun. And I got a couple of these cute little, like they're bags, you know, the um, like all purpose bags. And of course, Jasmine, she's my favorite. So one of my girlfriends at work had bought these, just brought this in for me. Um, and I absolutely adore this. I think it's so pretty. The details on here are just perfect. They're just gorgeous. The, the way that this artist had done these is just beautiful. And again, you can't have the, cannot have the villains. Um, so we've got Maleficent, we've got Dr. Facilier and Ursula Cruella on here. Um, Evil Queen, just beautiful. Hades, you don't see much of him. Um, just very, really pretty. And the colors on here, just even though they look some um, colors that you not normally would figure into like a villainous scenario, this it works. It works really well. I did get one pin. Um, my husband had taken me over to Box Lunch um, for Christmas. He sometimes has a has a hard time shopping. Let's just put it that way. Um, so he would actually rather me kind of go shopping with him. And um, he got me this little blind box pin. Now I've already opened it because it was for Christmas. But on the back here, it's the uh, it's from Loungefly. And then here are the different characters. And it's all like Disney um, cats. So you've got Raja, you've got Marie, there is Figaro on here, and just, they're so cute. And then I pulled it, and when I did, I got Marie. So there she is, just looking so sassy, and her pink bow, just looking adorable. So there is Marie. This one I'll have to show you. I've actually put it on my wrist already. Um, in my Bippity Boppity box, I got an Alex and Ani that had Jasmine and Raja on it. Um, I also, it's and this is not an Alex and Ani, but it is a Disney bracelet that um, it's just absolutely beautiful. It kind of mimics the style of an Alex and Ani. And I don't know if you can see this, yeah. It is a charm and inside of it, it has all these little cute Mickey heads on it. And then in between them, there are like little rhinestones. And then it has a cute little bead right next to it that kind of sets it off. Just adorable. I got this from my son and daughter-in-law and absolutely adore it. So pretty. And this is the box that it came in. The box is even beautiful. Perfect color, it's got the school detail, and then it says Disney on the top. And I think oh, 
two more things. So I'll do this other pin next. Um, this when I had gone uh to we gone shopping, we went to box lunch and also to the Disney Outlet store that is in here in Arizona or the Arizona Mills. And when I was there, I picked up uh, just a couple of ornaments, but I also picked up this pin. And it, they just came out with it that day. And I thought it was so cute. It's the lamp for Pixar and the Pixar wall. So super cute. There. There's not the glare anymore. So perfect. It was just adorable. I really, really love this pin. And then the very last but last not least, and it's not Disney, but I also do Harry Potter contacts. So I thought I'd go ahead and show this. Um, was this tumbler. And I think I'll probably be using it more as a coffee mug, but because it's porcelain. Um, but it is a hot cold. And when you put your drink inside of it, um, when the heat heats up this part of it, it reveals um, the castle in a different color. And it's just really super cool. And then it has the dogs slide for you. So you can take your coffee with you to work. So that's all for my Disney Christmas. I hope your Christmas was wonderful. Happy New Year as it is still before the New Year's. Um, I hope your 2020 brings you all the blessings and, um, and much more for the entire year. Thanks. Have a good evening.